what's up youtube welcome to the video in this video we will look into two rules uh, which are uh, known as primary key and the foreign key rule so let us begin if i start a new query and there is this uh, query about creating a database and then i am inserting some i i am creating this table and then inserting this record but what if I press the execute button some more times and then select this table when I press F5 I can see that this record is has been inserted multiple times so basically uh, uh, we can have multiple employees or uh, having the same name or having the same date of birth or having the same salary but the problem is we can't have four employees having the same employee id so our id must be unique so that uniqueness can happen if we apply primary key rule to this so let me create another table and we will call it uh, employee table 2 but this time i am writing primary key so this column will be the primary key of this table and now I am creating this table now let's insert the record into our employee table 2 when I execute it says that one row affected but when I try to put the same record again it will show me an error violation of primary key constraint so a uh, constraint is a force rule it says that cannot insert duplicate key so uh, this is the primary key of this table so there cannot be two employees with the same hundred id if i select this table employee table 2 there is this employee already having the id 100 so i cannot insert another employee with the id of 100 if i change the uh, uh, if i change this id then the record will be inserted so here are my two employees so the role of a primary key is uh, to make sure all of the record inside our table are unique so there cannot be two records having the same employee id now comes to the foreign key rule now coming to the foreign key rule this time we have a table named customer table which has a customer id which is its primary key and another column customer name then we have an order table having the columns uh, order id which is the primary key order status and so there is a column customer id in the order table because uh, an order must belong to a customer so to know that which order belongs to which customer we need to have the customer id in our order table but there is a problem here if i create these tables and then I am uh, inserting a customer and adding a record to the order table when I select these I, I am having no problem in adding the order of this customer in my order table but what happens if I change the ID to 200 and I don't have the customer having the ID of 200 so basically I shouldn't be able to place an order of a customer which does not exist so I have to change the order ID because it cannot be the same it is also a primary key so I have changed this order ID then when I press this I have inserted an order so I have inserted an order of customer 200 which doesn't even exist so uh, this is the problem that we face this problem is solved by using the foreign key rule so how to use it 
we can apply the foreign key rule to this customer id's column let me first drop the drop this table so this will become a foreign key so we use the references keyword and then write the name of the original table which it belongs to so the customer table and its column which is the customer id so we are saying that this customer id originally belongs to the customer table and the column inside which is named as customer id so this customer id is connected with this customer id means that only the record inside the customer table can be added to this order table oh i didn't create the table you can see that the order was added because this customer this customer 100 exists in my original table which is the customer table but what if i try to add some customer which is not present in my original table so it will not let me enter a customer which is not present in my original table so this is the job of the foreign key if i try to add 100 again it will let me add the order because the order id is different so now i have two orders of the same customer which is 100 which has the id of 100 but i cannot add some customer which is not present in my original table so now let me add another customer so you can see that i was able to place an order of the customer 200 because now it is present in my original table so this is the job of foreign key so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time